it's up there. I love that. Yeah. When you do it, when you do it after the meeting starts, now if you if it's being recorded when it starts, it doesn't for whatever reason I don't think announces that. No, it does not. But if it's if you start it in the middle, then it. But I do see the little red recording. Yeah, if you pay attention, you can see it. It's not right. it's not a secret. It's just. I thought that was pretty interesting the other day, Wednesday, when yeah. uh, we got the low battery right at just the just when we needed it. You know. It was, I, I, that, that, that's not much juice in that battery. The thing, it actually, it, don't underestimate, cause, you know, because my, my computer, which does really well, um, just like if I'm working on it or whatever, mm -hmm. but if you're doing a Zoom, the right. Zoom with the video and everything yeah, good point. consumes the heck out of your battery. Yeah. It just it just does, and Jason could probably tell you that being a tech guy or whatever. But but when you're when you're doing video, same thing. If I'm using, you know, iMovie to um, edit or import a movie or render it into a movie right. file or whatever, uh, that is a a huge huge suck. That's a huge processor load, and it's a huge yeah. battery suck. That's why I brought, oh, brought the cable with me in the adapter. Yeah. Um, if I have to do it again, I will, I'll plug it in just so it doesn't happen. But we were on for a while before, too. Right, right, so, right. Yeah, you were on for from like 11 45 minutes. Yeah. You, were like, you were like two, at least probably two hours yeah. live. So yeah. uh, live on Zoom and whatever else. So it came out anyway, good. well, I wanted to, um, I see Robbie D's on here. Hey, Robbie. So um, I wanted to to kind of talk and um, when we get a few more folks, Scott's going to join us a little bit uh, a little bit later. He has a, an interview as soon as he's done there. And then I know Patricia Ann's going to come on about 1215. And there's a few people that have responded that they're 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 getting on and who knows who's going to get on here. And the important thing is the important people are here in this moment. Back to what I was saying before is the most important and powerful thing you can we can do is be present where we're at which is actually it sounds pretty easy and simple to do in today's world it's not simple at all i mean there the myth of yeah yeah squirrels you know uh, we were talking about that the myth of multitasking i see it all the time on these zooms right you know we're we're, we're doing these things and i and and i do it too by the way i mean i, I I'm can't not, stop doing it it seems right so you're sitting here and you're you're listening but then something pops up on your notifications or whatever so uh, i know people that say turn off all your notifications on your phone turn off yep. all notifications on your computer that way you go after it with intention so yep, i agree um, I think I that's probably it. good advice. I have uh, haven't done that as effectively as I need to do. We don't practice what we preach. So anyway, um, since you guys are on here, I'm going. I'm I am multitasking. I'm going to bring up my my presentation files and stuff, and I'm going to um, basically. Um, kind of open it up for further comment. I know that um, Jason and Randy uh, were on last Friday and we talked a little bit, but uh, as is, you know, one of the things in the, uh, the world of live streaming these days, uh, and even in the old, are, did anybody watch the, the show uh, 24? Mm -mm. Uh, in a long yeah, time. I, that was one of my favorite shows. And, and I, they kind of, I think started it, um, I don't know, maybe they, there was probably others, but they do that um, previously on 24, you know, and, you know, when there's multiple episodes and it kind of goes from one to the next to the next. And, and so being able to kind of, you know, catch up or jump in and um, it's not as important now with streaming. So now I noticed I was wa I'm watching a show on Netflix called uh, Episodes. Uh, it's been out for, I think there's like seven seasons. It's with uh, Joey, you know, um, Matthew, or Matt, yeah, Matthew um, Perry. Not, not Matthew Perry, that's the other guy. Um, Matt LeBlanc. 
Matt LeBlanc on Friends, right? So it's a show about him or he's in it and stuff like that. But anyway, now with Netflix and streaming, you can actually skip the the preview. In other words, you if you if you already if you don't need a recap to start. In other words, if you've been watching the previous episode and this episode and this episode you're streaming, you don't want to watch the recap of the previous episodes every time, so you can actually skip it. So I guess when people are watching this video, they come back and they can say, "Well, I can I can skip that part." But but frankly, um, I I actually watch the recap most of the time so that I get myself caught up to where they're starting because sometimes the writers don't always um, the maybe it's a two seasons ago or whatever a little recap so anyway I don't know what that has to do with this other than the fact that I wanted to kind of this is part two and I wanted to do this the other thing I will tell you that may doesn't mean anything is I just got the uh, notification uh, for uh, being a beta for the new technology with be connected and um, for the group and the shows and I've added created a logo and I added uh, this stay connected with I'm changing the only the only things changing was stay connected and thrive which we've been doing for well over a year now is it's called stay connected and thrive with the C being a K so kind of goes right in with mm -hmm. be connected but um so it's going to be a show and uh, depending on how the technology unfolds and it, either that we're going to use some of the technology and be connected to promote the show make it available expand our audience um and also expand our our reach for bringing in presenters and those kinds of things. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I was looking at the shows because I Scott texted me. Scott's gonna, Scott Schilling's gonna jump on here uh, when he, he's doing an interview or something in, on a show, another show, um, media show or something. And so as soon as he gets done with that, he's gonna pop in. So if there's any questions that I, can't answer or insights that I can't give because I'm not kind of you know, on core. I'm not on payroll, if you will, for for be connected. I'm just, um, you know, uh, an early, early adopter. I'm early innovator. Um, so anyway, one of the things that I'll do just as we're getting started and kind of ramping up in the audience is building here. Um, Randy, um, any you're you're always I love the fact that you always take notes, you always um, think critically, and you often, um, you know, think of things in in a different way than I do. You're always we're always pretty aligned, but you but you you always have a perspective that that helps me. Um, from the last session and just between here and there, any. Any thoughts, observations uh, that you've had in the last since we, since we got together last Friday, or just rethought, rethinking anything that we said? Yeah, I was I was actually thinking about it, um, and I meant to send you a note just to make sure that I don't say anything that you don't agree with. But um, that's okay. You can you can we 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 always we often or periodically agree to disagree so that's right so, so there's nothing be, there's, there's no censor there's no censorship okay. in my world good so i still personally find be connected a little bit of an enigma mm -hmm. i don't fully understand i see some of the elements um and i see those elements replicated in linkedin in facebook in in other things I see that be connected kind of pulls them together and I'm looking and keep in mind, those of you listening, I'm seeing this from my perspective, which is very different than, than the other people on, on this window right now and the businesses that they run. And so I'm trying to understand how I could use be connected to expand my business. And I'm, and it's not jumping out at me. And it's nothing that you've said. It's nothing that Scott said. I think, I think we need not a summary of 
what it does, but a, some insights into how we can use these elements to expand each of our, each of the people and young lady on the thing here today, how we can use these to expand our business that's different than simply using Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever other social media we get. That's that's the thing that's I'm struggling with personally sure. with be connected. I don't know if that helps at all. That that's 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 beautiful. I mean actually that's a great um a it's great, not a criticism. No, not at all. No, and I don't take it that I don't take it as such and quite frankly um having been involved with not only be connected but you know I, I threw out clubhouse i threw out a couple of other things i've been i was an early early innovator adopter of linkedin of i was on facebook as soon as they allowed non-college students to be on facebook i actually had a myspace page um i'm on twitter pinterest yeah. uh Instagram, um, you know, and quite frankly, um, none of those platforms do I still fully understand how to apply and integrate with what I'm doing, regardless of how mature they are. So and maybe that, they're not for you. Well, again, it's hard to be binary. I, I'm actually, right. I'm Correct. actually having, I've had some clients and I have some friends. Uh, I'm working with that want, and, and again, it's very easy to label something, and I don't care what we're talking about, but we're talking about Be Connected or we're talking about social platforms. Let's talk about that. Um, it's very easy to, uh, in our lives, because we're so inundated with possibilities or with things coming at us and so many people um, trying to motivate us i could call it and be cynical and say manipulate us but but let's say motivate us to do what they want us to do right and then like you randy and and, and that your your question is actually brilliant and i'm really 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 glad that i had you ask that question first because you really have given a great frame for uh for this conversation and without you know there's a lot of specifics that we won't get into, okay, because it is multidimensional and it is changing. And there, are, one of the things that I do is not parsing something and labeling it as good or bad or whatever, but it's saying, okay, I understand how to do this part, but I don't understand how it enables me to do that. And that's one of the things with uh, Be Connected. And it is because it's an early and I say early, early innovator stage, the, the technology itself is evolving. And because you are in the conversation, the, those of us that are here talking about it, um, and those that will watch this video, uh, we're also all asking that question. Right. I'm asking that question is how do, how is this different? How do I make it work for me and what do I you know expect I know where I know why I'm on the planet I'm here to change I you know we talked about that last time right okay. know why you're here your unique value where you're going and then realize that it's a very complex you know volatile uncertain complex ambiguous environment and frankly in many respects adding a new golf club to Ricky's bag if I want to use a golf analogy um, adds more work right you got to figure out how does this tool because that's all be connected is really is a tool right. how can I use this tool to do what I want to do the first question is what do you want to do second question is how does this tool help or is there a better tool if everything is be connected then every you know you know, it's like they say, you know, if you're if all you got is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. So so and we don't just have a hammer. We have all kinds of tools. Yep. So so the, 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 the brilliance of that question is um, and I can't answer it completely as it pertains to you. But the real answer is this. As we go 
out of or go beyond today as we continue on the journey, as I say, um, what we need to do is, and I'm willing to help in that. And there are other people like Scott and other people in Be Connected and people who've been on the journey that we're willing to go go forward with that in the same way. I mean, Robbie D and I were just talking yesterday and I gave him a heads up on some things that were going on with Be Connected. And I, he said, I said, what do you want to do with it? And then he said, okay, uh, let's do this. And, and I won't get into specifics, but we were able to do that. So part of it is it's a team sport here. Part of it is this isn't the be all end all. And we can't, you, you made a great point. Just talking about what the features and functions are what we do, which are changing, is less important at the end of the day than, frankly, how you're going to apply those things right. and the value you're going to get out of those things. Right. So, and is it for you? Like, look at these faces here, and I'll just pick on Patricia. Is it the right application for Patricia? Mm -hmm. Is it the right application for Ricky Jean? Or is it just their elements? And Ricky's going to answer that question in a minute. Uh, are there just are there elements, and how do we individually select the appropriate elements? And don't just dismiss it and say, oh, well, I can't. It, that doesn't work for me. Right. Well, and that's the that's the the thing. And, and it's because it's early innovator. There's because, value there. But yeah, and, and there is. And my answer, frankly, I'm looking at everybody on the screen here. And again, part of part of the advantage I have is, number one, I think I know each of you to some level. I've had it. I'm, I'm, I know that. I know enough about your, each of your businesses or what you're trying to do to be dangerous, uh, but I do know something, at least a starting point. And um, I can tell you with what I know, what I know about Be Connected, there is an application for each of you, including Patricia. I actually had, I mentioned Patricia last time. Um, I see some real possibilities in her worlds with some of the challenges she expressed last time about not being able to do things person to person, having, having, you know, being able to develop some trust, develop some, uh, things around her expertise that is harder to do in this virtual environment and the restrictions she has. Ricky so Ricky Jean's been patiently waiting. Ray, should, Ricky Jean, yeah, go ahead, brother. Well, I'd like to answer Randy this way. Uh, can you hear me, Randy? Loud and clear, brother. You're very loud. You're blasting. So. Yeah. Huh. You got. You probably ought to dial your gain back just a little, but it's good. Just, uh, I think it just over, over, over. How about hands. pushing the mic away? Yeah. Pushed everything away. Now I lost you. Where'd you go? We can't even, your, your, your video went off, Ricky. I'm here. There you go. Yeah, I'm cool. here. All right. Well, Randy, I want to put it this way. I don't, I didn't completely understand uh, when new technology or new tools happen, but, but I want, I, I don't ever want to be that person that I saw years ago who said, the fax machine is my thing. It's what I've always used. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change. Uh, it was good enough for me all these years and I'm I'm just gonna stay with it I don't, I don't want to be that kind of person who who says I'm sticking with the fax machine and uh, so that I don't fully understand and I probably well those people who wanted to stick with the fax mach fax machine they didn't fully understand going to something else but they needed to do it you know so that that's my answer because I don't fully understand all the tools that are that are coming available, but I don't want to be the holding on to the fax machine. Yeah, yeah, in New York we have an expression: "Try it, you'll like it." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, well, inter interestingly enough, Ricky, and 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 I appreciate your your response there because that's that is true. Um, it, by virtue, and, and I made mention to it a few times now, by virtue of it being uh, early innovator, um, to be honest with you, not everybody, because if, if you look at market adoption curve and it is a curve, 
the middle of it is there'll probably be 15 million people using be connected before we're we're past what what we're at what you call a tipping point so we're very early in the conversation this is more the question remember and the questions that i said ask yourself what if i would have been i've had zoom stock just before the pandemic hit how would how would i change what if um, there was a way that I could have had a piece of the action when they started LinkedIn. What if, you know, you ask yourself those questions in hindsight. And it, I've kind of, I'm kind of of the mindset. I am an early innovator. Uh, I don't like to be on the bleeding edge of things. So I'm, I do a lot of diligence, but I like to be early on. I was one of these people that had an opportunity to buy Microsoft stock in 1984 on an initial public offering. And I said, yeah, you know, it's pre IBM PC, pre anything. Right. And I said, yeah, it was 10,000, but it was a $10,000 thing. I had the $10,000. Okay. Of Microsoft stock 1984. And even though Microsoft isn't Google and Apple now or whatever, um, if I'd have done that then and had that then, <laughs> I wouldn't have, to, I mean, money, would I, my having level would be over the top, right? I would have a lot of money. So I've missed those opportunities. And this may or may, you know, I think this is one of those disruptive technologies that creates the set, the, all the questions and the core question that Randy is, how do I... Now I see it doing a lot of things. How do I make it work? How do I do it? And frankly, what I'm the way I'm connecting the dots here is I'm I'm seeing this as a way to accomplish a lot of the things that we accomplish in a one-to-one -one basis in a very intimate way in Richardson Plano Networkers and allowing me to tap into those other things. And I don't see it as an either or. I see it as figuring out how to use how to connect these things. John Moore, you had, you had raised your hand. I saw you had raised your hand and set forward. Did you leave me again or are you? Well, no, I'm, ha I'm here. And quite honestly, I am so far behind in all the technologies. Uh, I was uh, an early, early entry, in, I won't say early in innovator, early adopter. Oh. The early, I was an early awareness phase of LinkedIn. And, but in terms of applying the technologies, all the technologies, LinkedIn and Facebook and, and everything else, uh, I am so far behind, it's not even funny. Right. And, uh, um, and I, I know virtually nothing about, about be connected, which is one of the reasons that I'm plugged in today. Great. Well, for, first of all, and I saw Patricia nodding her head and I, I've seen some other folks and I will tell you, I'm glad you're here today. The real question that I would like for each person here to take away from here is given the where you're at, what is the opportunity that I have today given where I'm at? In other words, here's where I, it's kind of like going into the mall, right? And you say, this is where I'd like to be. This is the, this is the store I'm going to. And you look at the map and there's this little dot that says you are here. Okay. We can, the mall has a lot of doors and there's some people that are in the middle of the mall. I, have you ever found yourself in the middle of the mall and then you're looking for the map because you don't know, you, you got lost, you got turned around. Um, interestingly enough, you may be, have an advantage, John and Patricia and anybody else who would, would say there were, where John is at or, you know, in a similar place in that I see this technology and some of the things they're doing have basically are solving problems or solving situations that we've, that those of us have been on the journey have had to navigate through. And now they've just kind of re, redone the mall and the point of going point A to point B, and instead of having to catch up and do all of those technologies and things, there may be an opportunity. And I say may, because it's really depends on more on you than in your actions and your willingness to learn is to short, you know, shorten that cycle to, to, to find something that's a little simpler or at least somebody, you know, people that can help you with that. So that's good. Now, Jason, I want to come to you because you raised your hand and, and I'll, I'll keep it going. This is great. By the way, we're, we're getting good stuff. I'm the beauty of also 
be connected in our relationship and my $12.99 a month uh, Zoom enterprise account that would cost everybody. And by the way, I'm not supposed to, I, this is recorded. I probably shouldn't have said Zoom, but this webinar platform that I have, we have transcription, I have unlimited cloud storage. And so I'm recording this and we can come back and I can actually look at what you said and hopefully follow up and give you some answers and actually look at Randy and I just did that just before y'all got on and I was showing him his 30 seconds from 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 Wednesday so that he could use that as a learning tool to more solidify that. So anyway, I, I don't mean to blow past, but I do want to come over to Jason. Jason, go ahead. Yep. So um, there's a couple of things that I'm kind of excited about Be Connected that kind of helps for me stand apart from some of the other platforms. It's So right now the data is a lot cleaner so there's other platforms uh I mean, there's a whole bunch of like empty profiles and you can't really connect with people on it uh, and be connected is purpose built for businesses and entrepreneurs to connect and it's not it doesn't facilitate spamming like the other platforms have grown to be so i mean linkedin sometimes feels kind of like this facebook plus with all the social media posts and stuff like that and it to me the feel is less professional as it's grown and then it's like spammy so be connected kind of takes that away and it lets people focus on building the business they want um and then like facebook i think it's got a place for marketing and things like that but it's feels more for consumer end and not as much business to business type stuff so um that's another promising thing for be connected and i think because it's early it's got good platforms set up for influencer type groups and uh kind of get your name out there before the whole crowd is so if you get there early you can establish yeah. a profile there so awesome well jason um by the way give jason some kudos he um he got on last friday uh, hasn't been been in and out of the group. He's been with the group for a bit through the pandemic. You're over in Fort Worth, right? Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so he's not, he didn't join us before we started going on, on Zoom and stuff. And really, really a quick study. Really, really, I, I, I had a one-to-one -one follow up with him after last Friday and, and he connected the dots probably faster than I did. So, so, so good job, uh, Jason. Um, who else? There was some. Uh, go ahead, Robbie D. Just want to say that Ricky G hit the nail on the head. Be connected is an immense platform that keeps bringing in more information, and there's so much information. I kind of need help, you know, getting through all the information. And getting back to what Randy said, finding the parts of Be Connected that can help me grow. And possibly another, you know, half hour group of just Be Connected people talking about what they found or what they do. I know at RPN, we've had speakers on LinkedIn and how they use LinkedIn to help their business, possibly getting people to talk about how they're using Be Connected and just, wait, he did that? I didn't know that. How do you do that? And as you know, it's growing, it's new. There's so much information coming out and as all guys don't get it as quickly. Like my son will say, Google it. I'll Google it. I'll read it. I still don't understand it. And then I'll say, Dad, this is what it meant. Oh. Oh, now I get it. Yeah. yeah. So it's just a little help for us old people. Well, it's not just old people. The thing is, the, the, the beauty of it, and, and let me, let me again, Robbie D, give me, give you some kudos or some, you know, the brilliance moments there. It's not just old people. Um, the most powerful thing we learn as we get older is we don't know everything. Um, in fact, sometimes um, as you get older, you realize how much you don't know. And as technology changes, as you know, the Be Connecteds or whatever comes along, 
uh, the Googles or the whatever, it's easy to say, okay, I know enough. But the, but the beauty of Randy and the, the guys here who have a little more history, uh, like me and whatever, is that even though we know there's things we don't know, we know that continuing to learn is important. And then the thing that, back to Randy's brilliance that, that, that really started this whole thing off in our discussion is that, is that um, part of it is applying. And, and in fact, the biggest part of it is how do we become a product of the product, as I say, how does, how do we take the tools could be, you know, meet up, LinkedIn, Facebook, be connected, whatever, right? How can we take the pieces of those that we intentionally want to use to serve our business? The part of the interesting thing, and Jason had an excellent list of values that he saw, but one of the things I will tell you is part of the value is that with Be Connected, the platform as it is, it's invitation only. So he said, you know, spam. The other thing is there's a formal rating process. So if you do have somebody that comes into the, the community and is a spammer, is a troll, is a, you know, stalker, is, you know, offender of whatever, the community, not the platform. That's important. That's important to a lot of people right now is nobody wants, whether it's face, I don't think anybody wants the people I think that, that I'm looking at here wants, um, be connected, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, you know, whatever tools they're using to unreasonably throttle their message, their business message, their, their, trying to get to their audience, right? Or or to take what they're doing or their information and use it, quote, for them or against them, right? Because But the thing is with those other platforms, somebody is saying, what's the difference? Some of those other platforms are, you are the product. See, all they're really trying to, all they care about is you staying on the platform so that you can see their advertising. And if you get too much organic traffic to your business or to your message, they will wake up and say, yeah, we don't like that message. It, it doesn't go with what we want to do. And I don't care. I mean, I'm not, this is not political. I'm just saying we, we, it, it doesn't agree with, it's not serving my business. If I say I'm in be connected and um, let's say I'm not, but let's say I was in charge of all the messaging and everything. And, and I looked at across all these groups and all these conversations. And I said, okay, I don't like what, I don't, I don't agree. Randy actually said something pretty profound in the beginning. He said, well, you may not agree with what I said, so I don't know if I should say it. And I'm saying, it's not my call. This is a platform for all of us and that we all have a right to our point of view. Now we don't have a right to hurt anybody in the platform, so that's why, you know, you can be voted off the island, right? But uh, but it but we um, are not the product. We are we are paying for the product, or we are invited to use the product, and we use it intentionally to connect. Um, I, Randy, I saw your. I just want to make sure I'm not. Patricia, did you have before before I go to Randy? Did you have anything else? Okay, so Randy, go ahead. So. 20 plus years ago, when I was at the peak of my executive career, turning around, fixing businesses, um, I needed answers. I needed solutions. I knew what the problems were in the business that I was responsible for. I talked to my people. I looked at the books, looked at the results, talked to customers. But what I didn't have were solutions. I had ideas of my own, but I wanted some more solutions. At that time, LinkedIn was my mega source for solutions because I could do a search in LinkedIn and I could find people. And back then, 20 plus years ago, people were very willing to respond. And I said, hi, I'm Randy Sebuk, I'm CEO, blah, 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 blah. I'm having a problem with, would you be able to help me? And nine times out of 10, I'd get a response and we'd kick up a conversation and I'd pick their brain and they would willingly help me with solutions to my problems. So my question is, giving that little diatribe, is 
be connected intended to do that or is it aimed at a different purpose or solution so for one you know just to answer your question uh as completely as i understand it right now the answer is it's not necessarily for um hang on just a second it's not necessarily for just doing research it's really for connecting to people in the community that can help you get the answers and and you know it's like um I, it's probably not a great example but i gotta start with the research to say okay dave roberts jason madam robert denenberg these people seem to have solutions the problems that I have. So I, you know, there's enough information in the LinkedIn database for me to know where to look. Is, is there, I think we're at a point where Be Connected does not have that sufficiency of information in its database yet. I think it's getting there, um, but that's just one man's opinion. Yeah, it's, it's getting there. I think that at the end of the day, precisely what what we were talking about before, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get, uh, Scott's having issues getting connected in. So I'm just trying to make sure that's not it. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm trying to- All of us um, see the potential in Be Connected. Right. Um, but, but the question is, when will it how do we use it now and is it as value to a uh, valuable to us at the moment as other sources of information such as linkedin facebook i mean J jason did a great job i think of of depicting facebook and, and its benefit to the community so that's what i'm personally struggling with is right. seeing the value not, not I, I you know i I don't know how long I'm going to be around, but hopefully I'll be around long enough to see Be Connected really build out and become an absolute killer app right. for all of us. Um, but in the meantime, how do we attract people to Be Connected? Because that's how it's going to grow. And when it grows, it becomes more valuable. Right. Shut up. And that and actually good question. And the answer is however you're doing things today probably is the starting point with and the and the tools that you're using right i know how to use a hammer i may be able to use a power tool later but maybe i don't i don't even either have the power tool or the technology hasn't been developed in order or to the point where i can use it and i can use it better than the hammer so so to to your point um that's kind of where, remember, again, I said we're early, early innovator stage. Therefore, you have to view the same way you view, when you show up to Richardson Plano Networkers, let me, let me kind of give you a parallel metaphor here or a, approach. When you show up to our group, you don't know what the group is or how the group can help you. And you're already, I have a lot of people show up, they're already in a chamber, they're already, um, they got a, so many connections on Facebook, they've got a Facebook page, they might have this, they might have that, might, you know, have their own meetup group, who knows, I don't, you know, and they show up and they go, okay, how can Richardson Plano networkers uh, add, you know, is this a tool that I can apply? Where is it at? Um, we're, per we're more mature than, you know, as the group go, as a group, as these types of groups and than a lot of groups. So the question is, number one, can I use it today? Which there are things about Be Connected you can use today. The main thing you can use is there's a relatively small, uh, and Scott just joined us, so I can tell you, you've got, you know, you've, I've got powerful people like Scott Schilling, Tanya Hoffman, um, I've got uh, Tracy Rupchak, um, you know, if you're in the tech oh, area, dude, Lorenzo, dude. Lorenzo Hickey, there's a whole ton of very pe people who have very large audiences mm -hmm. and very high impact people. Uh, Todd Brewster, you know, so, no, I'm just kidding. You know, and Todd Brewster, you know, there's a lot of people on here. I'm just, I'm, I'm seeing his body language and the thing, so I'm having fun. So, but the point is, there's a lot of people 
that have connections. So the thing to do right now is kind of it's I think Scott somebody used the term and I'm going to I'm going to steal it whoever used it. It's kind of, or maybe it was Tracy early it's kind of like the early stages of any of these platforms. It's kind of a land grab. It's kind of a way to go in and say I can invest this amount of time to number one, maybe integrate some of the stuff I'm doing in face-to-face -face networking, in um, LinkedIn, in Facebook, whatever platform. I don't, I don't really care, I, and I'm not going to go through all of them. But I can take this. I know Vic Nathan's on here; he's not on on camera. But you know, we we were talking about how do you capture those and make that more efficient, and then become more intentional, not only with your one to ones, but your one to many, which is the the thing that I that I got really pumped about with the groups. And uh, Scott, I think I I don't know if you saw my text, but I did I did create a show for this stay connected and thrive Friday in the in the new uh, be connected beta so that we could begin to get our message out and begin to showcase uh, some of the brilliance of some of the people Randy asked some really brilliant questions already Jason gave some really interesting insight and so um, before I come to you Scott I, I I wanted to see is there anybody I'll ask um, one one more question David, go ahead Randy then I promise I'll shut up so my question and it's really for Scott I guess and you how does BK differentiate itself today and what direction is it going in to differentiate itself for the long term to make it valuable to everybody on this screen and in Richardson Plano Networkers and beyond. Well, I'm going to let Scott do that one because he answers <laughs> that question like probably multiple times a day from, you know, you know, so and there's nobody better to answer that question, in my opinion. So go ahead, Scott. Well, thanks, David. And thanks for the question, Randy. And hi, all. Sorry, I was doing another show and then I couldn't get in for a little bit. So my my bad. Uh, I'll learn technology one day. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, the, uh, how, how do we differentiate ourselves? Well, we started out with the original concept of connections and, and making that literally much easier and much better at the touch of a button. That's how it all started. Uh, because of my relationships, I was able to bring in both our travel program and this top tier webinar platform. Huge savings available. Uh, I mean, this platform alone is, uh, as the top tier webinar platform is $100 a month less than typically people can get it. That's $1,200 a year for a business owner. That's huge. You can apply that elsewhere. The, tra the training we continue to add, I know there's this uh, new product that's going in there that'll be announced tomorrow and it happens to be mine. So one of my trainings is going in there. It's, a, a, it's really the foundational piece of something that help take one of my clients from eight million to a hundred million dollars in five and a half years. And that, oh by the way, is free to the members who have those memberships. So that's that's huge. We're going to continue to do that. We were very uh, flexible and and um, and observant. And we saw quite frankly what one of a brand new platform or a fairly new platform was doing with audio only. And all of a sudden they took off like, like crazy. And in 13 months, 10 million users. And we started studying that and said, well, what are they doing that's so unique? And, they, and the answer was, well, they're using audio. And we said, and that's it. And to, to our exploration, that was really it. And our IT guy, we were just in a meeting one day and he goes, well, we already built our own internal instant messaging system. We can do that. And we all kind of went, what? We can do, and, and well, we're already using text. We can add audio and video and have all three modalities and put it in our app, which has already been approved for both Apple and Android. We're not going to be uh, exclusive to one or the other will be inclusive to everybody. And now all of a sudden they can do this and in essence, although it's not a hundred percent of what lab was five years ago, 
in essence, we've kind of recreated Blab. And then we said, okay, well, let's take that and make it to the benefit of our members. And so literally now certain classifications of members have the ability to create their own groups. That's a cool thing. Well, now you can take and utilize the tools we've given you to promote not only internally, but externally. And anybody who is attracted to that link and clicks on that link is now tied to that group creator for perpetuity. Well, why would we want to do that? Because if that new free account ever decides to upgrade and create a monetization opportunity for Be Connected, we're going to reward the group creator. In other words, we're paying a commission. So the, the, now all of a sudden there's monetization that's never been available. So now even if you're on that other platform with no monetization, it exists. So what's our direction? Randy, I, I kind of gave you a, a really snapshot and quick history. Our, our direction is to listen to our global community and find ways to serve them and continue to increase the value that we deliver far beyond what they ever pay us. We, we had made the determination, we took a dollar before we ever launched. And we said, this penny goes here. And these 14 pennies go here. And this 22 pennies go here. And we took a dollar and said, if a dollar comes in, here's how it's distributed. And that's what, we've, that's what we're living to. And so the reality is we have created ways. It's not our members task to help be connected grow. It is be connected's task to help our members grow. Now, for those who choose to be affiliates, they've made a choice to do that. So that's a different kind of thing. And we've created a very lucrative, healthy monetization program for those who are looking. We just went, understand, we just went through an event where at one time, and I don't know where it topped out, but I know at one time, 34 million Americans had applied for unemployment in one week. And so we did everything we could to do our part for those who wanted that opportunity to be able to maybe create a new opportunity for one of those 34 million or whatever. So again, our direction is to serve our members and deliver far more value than they ever share with us. Does that make sense? Yeah. The, you said something, if I may, just, just sure. ask a quick question. So in my mind, I'm asking, is this more of an investment opportunity or is it a tool for my business? Like link, you weren't on when I described 20 years ago how LinkedIn was a very significant tool in me helping turn around businesses. Um, and I'm not, I, I, I don't know enough about, um, <laughs> about Be Connected to know. It, it really that, is, it is a tool to help you grow your business. Okay. Now, what what does that mean? It means something different to you, Randy, than it means to Ricky Jean, than right. it means to Patricia, than it means to Todd, right? For, and how do we uh, figure uh, that out? Well, ask the question. It's a very intelligent question. Ask. And, <laughs> and the good news is you got a, a fairly learned guy that can help you with that. We're four things. We're connections. We're tools that help you become more efficient and save money. Okay. If that's important to you, we are training real world training that will make a difference in your approach and how you go to market, whatever I can tell you the, I mean, I, the portion of my training that's going in there is stuff that I can assure you, nobody else trains Be, you know, it, it's just what I've learned over 40 years of, of doing it, right? And then now it is really, while we talk about the groups on the app, what we really are is a communication device, a communication method. So as an example, in one of my conversations with the senior vice president of a, a huge company, 
60,000 salespeople. Okay. He says, so let me see if I understand this group thing. As a senior vice president, I could have a group, I could create a group and only my regional managers could be part of that group. So I could communicate downstream to them. Yes. And then my regional managers could set up their own group to work with their sales salespeople to downstream their messages just to them. Yes. And then the salespeople could all set up a group to only downstream to their existing customers. Yes. He said, you just built our entire communication network behind password protection, no spamming, no trolls. I can make it private whenever I want to make it private. I can make it public whenever I want to make it public. And all I've got to do is, you know, a couple hundred dollars and be that member. Yes. And they went, oh my God. I've got a I've got a university that has an alumni association with 289,000 members that has been struggling budget on a budget process to create a communication mechanism to their alumni. And they said the we love the idea of doing it. We just didn't like the price tag that everybody wanted. And I said, "Well, would $500 be too much?" And he goes, "No, no, no. Come on. $500 a person?" I know $500. He's like, so you, we could create everything we've been looking in that the once people want to charge us millions of dollars for, for 500 bucks. I said, yeah. So what we are, Randy is one of those four things or multiples of those four things to the business owner. One of the things, Scott, that I want to amplify. Um, and it's one that, you know, you're, you, you're very, cons you know, right now, I know you're very consumed with with all the, the new capability communication, the groups, the shows, all that kind of stuff. And it's really, really cool. And it's really going to explode things. But one of the things we started very early on with that, that we talked about probably months ago, you know, quite a few months ago was, you, and you hit on it, but not connecting the dots to the extent that I think some of these people are using it is that that we do have about thirty thousand dollars worth of for those that have signed up at you know and paid two ninety nine uh, in this community. You there are things if you want to take your business online. We had several people before you got on talk about, hey, I don't know how to apply this new technology. I don't know how to do things. Um, I'm doing things the way I've always done. This whole technology. You know, there are. And, and they and we all get kind of energized about doing things at times, which is one of the reasons why we do this stay connected and thrive and bring in trainers and stuff on Fridays is to is to give people something that doesn't have a $5,000 price tag on it to advance them forward so that when they're ready, the, uh, the beauty of the beauty of be connected is the people like Scott and other people. Shelly Hipsky, you know, um, Michelle uh, on the videos, there's Tracy, there's all kinds of content available for $299 or, you know, lifetime for right today, $499 that you can have and never pay. And, it, yeah. it's, and it's growing and you're not going to pay another dime. That's the one thing. But the more important thing to me is Scott's in the community. I can reach out and say, Scott developed this training program, right? And I'm going down the path with that training program, on-demand training program that I can do. And I have a question. I'm, I'm like Randy. I have a question. I need to understand how to apply this. That was the, kind of what he kicked this off is how do I, not only what, what, the, what does it do, but how do I apply it? You got Scott right there. You got the guy or the gal or the person that mm -hmm. created that program that you have access to, which is a problem with most of these. You can go out on the internet right now and search and search any topic that we have training on, and you can find somebody that'll that'll give you a deal, maybe you know a few hundred bucks on this training or whatever. But guess what? Get access to them long term, ongoing. It's going to cost you a pile of money to yeah. continue to work with them. Am, am so, I am I yeah, wrong? Actually, to, actually, with the addition of my course. We'll, we'll be at about $37,000 
worth of real world, take it to the street, make money today courses. Right. These aren't what you need to know. And by the way, if you want to know how to do it, pay us more money. These are the what you need to know and how to do it. And you can implement it today. And we're all parts of Be Connected. And we also train on this uh, every week. You know, we you have access to us every week. And, 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 oh, by the way, and that's, you know, let's say that you became lifetime one single payment four ninety nine once in your life. The it just went from thirty four thousand dollars to thirty seven thousand dollars in content this week. As we are bringing in more and more members, if I mean, we've got one guy that's got his Facebook following is 250,000 and is preparing a course to drop in to the university. We have people I get, it's actually part of my task as the executive vice president of strategic partnerships is to identify new courses and, and new uh, content providers within our community. We don't have anything from outside our community we don't bring in any, trust me, I've got plenty of friends. I can bring in plenty of stuff. But if you're not committed to being part of the community, we're not going to expose you to our community. Right. Our, our community is here for the good of the community. So the reality is at four ninety nine dollars once in a lifetime, just as an example, and quite frankly, that should be the most that anybody in this group ever pays. Just telling you that up front. You've got $37,000 worth of education sitting there today. And if you were to say, hey, you know, I don't see anything on this topic and you let me know, I probably know somebody within our community that has that, that we could probably get. Or the other side of it is you're going to pay one amount for the rest of your life. And that I think the, the Be Connected University may be as high as 50 to $60,000 worth of real world courses by the end of the year, maybe even higher. You're not gonna pay another penny more for that. And people say, well, I, I either, you know, haven't taken the time or don't take the time or whatever. You know, how many, I can go on Facebook right now and I bet you I can find 10, I, almost unlimited number, but I can find 10 offerings from trainers on Facebook, 500 to $4,000 to get their expertise. And they're soliciting you on Facebook right now on content that we have in our university part of your membership. Right. And so my point is that, that maybe what we have in there isn't right for you today. It ain't about today. And, and I mean, I think you've, all in this group hopefully know me well enough that if you've got a good idea, uh, we don't sit on that. We, we use it as a good idea. We use it as some way that we can make it even better. So again, uh, as Dave said, we've had people like one of Tracy's courses that's in the back office as an example is eight sessions. I don't know how long they are, but one, one of our members took the first of eight sessions and in the next hour, made a thousand dollars. Okay, so she paid two ninety nine once in her life, for God's sakes, <laughs> you know. And and she made it an hour later. So again, not trying to oversell this, just trying to educate people on how is it different. First of all, I'll tell you one of the main differences with Be Connected, and that is for our female members. Sorry, Randy, but. Our, our permission-based system where no private contact information is exchanged until permission is granted, along with our five-star rating system, this is an extremely self-policing community that lifts people up with dignity. Our members respect each other. Um, more than likely, you're going to meet somebody on, on one of your calls where the first thing they say to you is, hey, I know you wanted to reach out to me and, and I really look forward to learning about you. 
how can I be of service to you? Let's start this call right. And that's the way they work. Is people truly wanting to create relationships that will take your business and differentiate. This is not, hey, I'm playing numbers game with a bot. You accepted my connection request and six seconds later, it says, oh, I've reviewed your profile and you're really important to me. Gosh, we should do business together, you know? Yeah. So uh, one, of the, one of the things, Scott, I wanted to- Great question though, Randy. Yeah, it's a great question. And Randy's always got great questions. If you wanna, if you wanna have a one-to-one -one with somebody and, and have them know the questions to, to ask or at least get you thinking, you know, Randy is clearly a, a good resource for that. Sometimes um, I, I have great answers too. Yeah, well, you know, again, it starts with the, the questions, right? He who asks the best questions wins. Yep. So, so part of it is, the, the other thing is, I'm very sensitive to everybody in this group and I can tell you that there's very this can the, the possibilities and the capabilities that are available even today back to a question Randy asked I, I think it was before Scott got on um, but what can I apply today can be overwhelming even if you're even with what today not e and then start to think about where we're going with this mm -hmm. Uh, at this early, what I call early, early innovator stage, because we are early, early innovator stage, as mm -hmm. I keep saying, people need to understand. Um, it can be so overwhelming that it's paralyzing. And so what I, in, in, I'm insisting, literally, I'm not, you know, that everybody get into the community, even as a free member, because that will enable us and me and all of us to go on this journey together at our own speed in our own way and begin to um, incrementally one day at a time apply and and then move forward with the pos the capabilities and the possibilities either exist or as they become because what is today be connected wasn't when I signed up for two ninety nine and two ninety nine a month, and it wasn't even a website when Scott said, "Hey, I got this thing for you," because I am an early, early innovator, not a bleeding edge, as I said earlier before Scott got on, but a leading edge type of mindset. That's I've always I've learned the hard way that not being open to possibilities, even when something isn't fully baked, um, I've missed a lot of opportunities and left a lot of opportunity and money on the table so any other uh, other thoughts i want to i want to i want to honor everybody i know karen is is on here and i and i and i didn't give a chance to talk to you but karen do you have any any I, and i saw you scheduled on my calendar so i know we're going to get to talk but uh any questions or thoughts that you have because you weren't on last friday and i want i want to give you an open the mic for you um uh, we need to talk okay because i've got to figure it out I've got to figure out the be connected. Uh, so it's still, okay. yeah, uh, it's still wanting to uh, me to pay the $49 and I pay it and then it goes back and tells me and then it reimburses me. And so there's there's some issues in the back office that we need to get worked out. Sure. And the interesting thing is uh, on that to that point, and I will tell you from my own experience, um, with this and any other pl place that I've been, there are always um, mm -hmm. challenges, but the beauty of Be Connected is the support is, you can actually get a hold of somebody live, you can actually live chat, you can actually get people, and if, if that doesn't work, um, I, I've got a friend here who's on the screen, Scott Schilling, who, as you already said, is on the, the company, uh, he's, he's part of the company. He knows about it. And he can, and, and we can work through it, so. Um, mm -hmm whatever that ends up being um you know we can we can work through it but yeah I'll, we'll take that offline any other um uh ricky jean go ahead i wanted to ask scott this question because i i i uh i think i get this question asked to me when i'm when i'm when i tell people about be connected so what's the main difference between microsoft teams and zoom and things like that and be connected. Well, Microsoft Teams is is 
their version of Zoom. Um, so th they are competitors in the marketplace. Um, my experience with Microsoft Teams is um, I have had tremendous issues with it personally. Uh, it is uh, it is not anywhere as user friendly or uh, uh, amenable as what the Zoom product is. Uh, we have a contractual agreement with um, to white label Zoom, and our deal is so good that we're not even allowed to put the four four letters in print anywhere. <laughs> And and we're really actually not supposed to say even the name, so we say it it rhymes with boom, uh, mm -hmm. but the uh, the reality is that this enterprise level package, it, Ricky Jean would actually just with you sitting there like that, I said you know what would be a cool group for you, is to do uh, a Friday night or a, a Wednesday night, uh, Ricky Jean is sitting at home, who wants to come hear me, right, and create a group that just puts you on uh, like that. And because of our Zoom package, you get 500 people can attend that as part of your $12.99 a month package. That offer is typically on the street from Zoom, $140 to $180 per month for the exact same thing. We're $12.99. So, just from what our deal is, it's phenomenal. Uh, it gives people all sorts of opportunity that they never dreamed about going forward. 500 people listening to me online any one night. Uh, two, um, Teams, Microsoft Teams, I don't know their pay schedule, but I can assure you they don't have 500 seats for $12.99. And quite frankly, from a functioning standpoint, uh, I don't find them to be as functional. And it, it is an option. It's an optional benefit here at Be Connected. Once you become a Be Connected member, even now our free members. So even if you just open up a free Be United membership here, you will have access to that $12.99 opportunity as an incentive and an encouragement for you to even be a free member here. And so what I would say to people is, you know what, you can kick the tires, you can find out both what Be Connected is all about and you can find out what that package is all about. For, become a, a free member, fill out your profile, go ahead and open up your top tier webinar platform account. There are no contracts. You can do it for $12.99 for 30 days. And if you don't like it and it doesn't match what Microsoft uh, Teams has or, or you don't feel it's better, especially for the price, cancel. All right. Okay, so um, I, I assume that answered your question, Ricky. The reality of it is uh, a year ago when the pandemic hit, um, I evaluate, we shut down Richardson Plano Networkers for one week and we moved everything online. I evaluated WebEx, I mean, every possibility to really say, what are we gonna do with the group? And Zoom was what I decided, this was pre-Be Connected. This was, you know, what I decided we needed to do as a group and it's become I wish I'd owned the stock, but it's become a great decision for the group. And it's very much ubiquitous now. It's almost like, you know, Kleenex, you know, it's not facial tissue. It's like, I, I, we need to Zoom. We need to Google. We need to whatever. It's becoming, it's, it's becoming a verb. And so, so yeah, so it's, it's uh, somebody asking that question is most likely somebody like Jason Madden who, or, or uh, Mark Weber. Uh, or somebody who deals exclusively within a corporate construct and is not an entrepreneur, business owner, a speaker, whatever, they probably are serving some of those audiences that have been, you know, I've been doing web, I've been doing video conferencing personally since the earth's crust hardened, uh, where I, you seriously, I, I mean, I did it with General Motors and we paid, 
it cost me just for the technology, not even the room build out, it cost me $250,000 per room to implement video conferencing at General Motors Assembly Division back in the 1980s. So I, that's how old I am. So video conferencing has been around. But in this way, with this ubiquity, this ease with which we can do things, Zoom, in my opinion, and again, it's just my opinion, is the best answer. And I'm glad that Scott or whoever at uh, Be Connected cut that deal because it is a beautiful deal. Um, anyway, so that's... The other thing, Ricky Jean, very seriously, with this Zoom package, you've got unlimited cloud storage of all your recordings. So literally, if you wanted to go on Zoom and play every song you know in history, you could catalog that um, that way to then, and it will also transcribe every one of those recordings for you all as part of this deal. Hmm. So again, the other side of that is for people who want to create a book or if you wanted to create a song list and here's the words to my sing along or whatever, you can use this tool in so many different ways. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. So, so, so when someone, I invite so, uh, someone to my group, they just have to be a free sign up member. Right. Right. We, we right. just, <clears throat> excuse me, we just launched a new free membership called Be United so that they, you can now say, Hey, I'm playing every Tuesday night at 6 30. That's my event. Come, come listen, to just some good music for a half hour or an hour or whatever right? How, what do I do? Click this link. When they click this link, if they're not a Be Connected member, they will have to become one, but we will give them a free membership. Now, once they do that, they are now tied to you for forever, for perpetuity. And if they ever decide to purchase a paid for membership in Be Connected, we will give you the commission. They're, they're, they're your follower, your listener, you brought them in. God bless you. We want to make a, an ability for you to monetize. I wonder if Facebook would make that deal with me. <laughs> That's when, when people say, when they say, how are you different from a Facebook or Facebook groups? Or how are you different from LinkedIn groups? I'm saying, well, I'll answer that question, but just answer this for me. How much was your check last month? <laughs> and they say, what do you mean? I say, well, how much was your check from LinkedIn? Well, they didn't give me one. No, it went to Bill Gates. We're trying to give it to you. Now, wouldn't this be a cool way? And, and what you really, what this clues in my mind, I got a buddy in Las Vegas that they haven't been able to play shows. And so he created a show in his bathroom. <laughs> Once a week, he's playing from his bathroom and he's doing it on Facebook and it's hilarious. But all of a sudden I said, dang, I got to call Sean. I, I got to get him in on that too. You know why he's doing it from the bathroom is the acoustics are, are really good in there. Probably Most, true. Yeah. I'll, give, I'll give him that credit. <laughs> good, good question. Natural reverb. <laughs> okay, so um, it's uh, we got about 15 minutes before we hard land the plane so and, and i'll and i'll do some announcements what else thanks scott by the way for joining us here because oh, uh, you're able to uh cut to the chase on some of this stuff and that's one of the reasons why it was i was really grateful that you showed up because things are happening and and moving pretty this is always the case by the way guys if you haven't been in this world of a of a startup or beginning uh, a even the larger or making a major change in a large corporation, which I did for years um, in the early stages, things move so fast, it's hard to keep up. And if you're just um, you're just kind of going through this, um, there's three. It, it's kind of a cliche. It is a cliche. It's a saying that goes along that I always think of is there are the people that are on this Zoom right now. And the people that are are have been in the conversations along the way here with be connected um, some of them are making things happen right now they're making what they can make happen they're applying it they're doing some things they're learning that's making things happen there are some people that have been aware and continuing to log into these conversations 
but they're still watching what's happening, right? They're still just kind of seeing, seeing how it goes. And that's okay. I mean, again, I'm not criticizing. And then what's going to happen is we're going to get down the road. Let me just deal with the Richardson Plano Networkers context because I've been living with you guys now since 19 or 2014 uh, as a group. And there'll be some gr number of people that will have I'll have a one to one with and they say, well, what happened? They're wondering, OK, so how did this all, you know, and, and I'm saying, OK, so have you been not paying attention for the last year or two or 10? You know, there'll be some that'll be around and they'll go, OK, now I'm I, I think I need to find out what happened. And that's in that market adoption curve we talked about. So, it tore, you know, there's people that are called laggards. Um, I got a brother-in-law that's like that. And I'm not being critical. I mean, he just, he still, he, he still has a flip phone or would have a flip phone. I mean, he, you know, you know, it's, it's okay. You know, it's, it's, everybody is who they are and we are all unique. And, and so I'm not dissing any of that. Um, any other thoughts or questions? We've still got a little bit of time. If there's anything that occurs to anybody or, um, you know, Randy, again, thank you for your, your questions and I, I actually I see there's some people off camera here. Let's see, Marv. I know you're still there. I know you're hiding. You're watching what's happening. Um, uh, did, would you like to pop in at least uh, tell tell folks what you're doing and is you know and ask the question that you I assume you're asking in your own mind if you want to put it out in public is uh, how can I make this or how could I use this what 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 we're doing here for to help me is that is that a question that you would have or give me a different question if you want let me elaborate a little bit uh ricky kind of hit a nerve with me early on and i i have to miss, i have to confess somewhat uh, and this is just a personal uh choice of sorts or maybe my nature but i'm i'm not that facts guy that doesn't want to necessarily change his methods I have a tendency to have a lot of old school philosophy, uh, if you will, it's just, it's just part of my nature. I don't get on the cutting edge of any kind of technology, typically. Just some experience from what I've seen. If you get on there too early, there's still too many bugs that need to be worked out. <laughs> I have a tendency to wait until it's a little bit more smoother territory before I jump in there and uh, and delve into you know you know the new technology world i remember probably 30 35 years ago a friend of mine mentioned how great it was to have facebook i'm not sorry not facebook how to have email in order to communicate with everybody <laughs> well that pendulum has swung significantly in 30 to 35 years and all of us are probably overwhelmed with with email and if you're not careful you can literally be unproductive with email and you got to figure out a way to eliminate and, and get through that cloud, if you will. So uh, it, it can be more productive uh, to you. And in my world, uh, if, if you want to, if you want to get a response from me within 24 hours, good luck. If it's an email, <laughs> okay. Texting or a phone call is how I communicate with most of my customers. And that's just what works for, uh, best for me so right anyway hey i appreciate what scott has had to say he's right on he, he always has great words of wisdom for uh for this group for this team so at any rate thank you i'll get up Marv. Box and take it away dave <laughs> <laughs> by the way marv uh is my supply he's my dealer for uh uh, alkaline water and also air purification stuff and all you know all I would say Marv is you know I love you brother and um, I, I I do you're, you're you aren't my brother-in-law so I wasn't talking about you but uh, <laughs> but but uh, but I will say this is that um, most of everybody here is able to do most of what they've been doing today that they did yesterday and that they're doing, you know, and my only question is, uh, are we satisfied? Are we satisfied with that? Would we like to have more customers? Would we like to have a bigger impact? Would we like to those kinds of things? And I don't have more hours in the day. 
just this is a very personal thing. I don't have more hours in the day to do what I do. And I am I have 10,000 followers on LinkedIn. I have, you know, almost 5,000 in my personal profile on Facebook and on and on and on. And, you know, even running this network and I can't I'm always looking for things that will maybe simplify that. The problem is, as you both you've mentioned and it's been mentioned a couple of times, is in the early stages of adopting, even regardless of where the technology is, um, it can be over. It can be distracting. It can keep you. So the the key is how do I do, whether it's be connected or anything else, how do I do that and not distract from what I already am doing, especially if I'm paying the bills, right? I can't take some time that I need or I need to spend time with my family or anything else. So we're all trying to, to do that by design and not by default. And so, you know, and you, you know, you hear me talk about that, but that, that was good, Marv. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Todd, did you, um, you know, did you have anything before I'm, I've got, I got about a minute up for you if you want to, if you want to weigh in or say anything. Yeah, I just put down that I got to run, but uh, no, it was very informative. I uh, appreciate everything. Uh, thank you, Scott, for coming on too. And um, yeah, good, good information. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Great. Um, so I wanted to, again, just get, make the only, if you're inclined, and I, and I'm, this is, this is the part of the question, and what Scott mentioned a couple of times, the 499. I just want to put it out there. And then everybody that's 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 inspired or or has a question, reach back out to me. Do what Marv does. Text me or call me because right now, even booking my calendar, I'm working on my tax extension, and I'm and I have really and I've got my granddaughters coming over, so I have no real free time. But I will make it for you if you have a question about the 499. What I really need everybody in this group to do in RP networkers at a minimum is just, I posted a link in the chat to say, join the RP networkers group. If you're not already in be connected, it'll give you, ask you to nominally fill out a profile and become a free member. Then you can exercise the webinar. You can do whatever you want after that point, but then you'll be then you'll actually be in the group. I'll approve you to the communication group. And I'm going to start using that to hopefully cut down on the flood of emails, uh, reminders and stuff that I do. Plus, uh, this stay connected, which a K now instead of a C. So I've made the change, even though I started this again, well before be connected, I thought it was kind of appropriate to change this Friday session to stay connected and thrive with a K. And uh, we're going to start making hopefully expanding our audience and our impact. I mean, I believe those are synonymous. If we expand our audience, we expand our impact uh, beyond what we have now. If you don't, if that sounds like too much work to you, don't worry, I'm doing that. But I do want you guys to participate. So please do that. Um, as always, uh, these are the, these are the upcoming meetings. It's 1255. So let me just tonight we have music Fridays. That's not a formal part of the group, but it's a formal part of a member of the group. R Ricky and I, I'll be there. Uh, this is where you can come and have music and and, uh, and uh, you know, have a good Italian dinner with your your family and and uh, you'll see some friendly faces. Uh, encourage you to do that. Monday, we have our formal uh, Monday Mixer, we went from having a quarterly mixer with 70 people in the room to Monday Mixers with maybe 10, 15 people in the room every week uh, as our group function so that we can continue our outreach and bringing people along. And then next Wednesday, we have our regular networking group. We had uh, over 30, well, right at 30, I guess, this last week, which is the hybrid group. And then next week, William Harrison is going, if you've met William, he's the a uh, spiritual Christian entrepreneur that's been par is part of the group, and he's going to do uh, a talk on uh, basically mission driven um, stuff. So he would be somebody, for example, that would be like Randy, like myself, like folks that are trying that we start with with impact and then monetize versus monetize and then take a percentage and you know understand that we've talked about that before so anyway uh can we uh, i want to give all of you a hand by the way just i i, mean, I just want to say 
everybody, Randy, your 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 brilliant questions, Marv weighing in, uh, Karen, you know, Patricia, you know, everybody that's been part of these uh, two Fridays, and Scott, thank you, thank you for uh, taking. I know how crazy busy you are, and how many th how things are changing, and you've got. To, I mean, I think about overwhelm, and I think about you. Um, I can't imagine, um, you know, how, and I'm very honored, um, honestly, I mean, from the bottom of my heart that, that you'll, you, you're willing to respond. You're there, Vic, I, I, I know you're listening. Um, thank you for, you know, I'm looking forward to helping you, uh, you know, build your unity marriage ministry and, and, uh, fun, you know, the things that you're trying to do there and that's exciting there's some there's a lot of stuff we didn't talk about uh that may apply so if you're trying to connect those dots by the way that's my superpower so have a one-to-one -one with me i posted a link to schedule it after tax day on tuesday uh, my calendar opens back up but if there's something urgent in terms of the you know, be connected. You want to decide if you want to be, you know, a, a paid member or anything like that. Feel free to reach out to me or Ricky or Randy or Rob or Karen, you know, whoever that's part of uh, this or Scott even, you know, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm not putting anything on your plate, Scott, but, but anyway, I appreciate again, the, the investment, as I always say, you know, we've all just invested our most valuable asset in each other, which is our time. And Bill Gates can't buy it back. Nobody can buy it back. It's gone. Uh, so hopefully it was worth your investment today. And um, as I always say, I love each and every one of you. Any other, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the, mo the meeting, it's two minutes till. I gave you two minutes of your most valuable time back. But uh, you can feel free to open your mic. Uh, put in, Be sure and put any information in the chat you want people to do. I'll download the chat. Um, any, other, any other thoughts? But thank you again, Scott. Thank you for... Absolutely. Thank you all. I got to run. I know you find it hard to believe I got another one to jump to. So thanks all. Talk to you all again soon. Appreciate you, brother. Bye -bye. Thank you. Okay. We're back. To, uh, let's look, let's say, I'm, well, we got a few people on. Any other, um, again, thank you, Randy, for the good questions and and everybody that, that input. And even if you, you know, there were some of you that, you know, gave thoughts last time. Uh, like Patricia and whatever, um, I do think there's an opportunity um, for um, for shows and stuff. Sorry, John, I just muted you because you got background noise. So if you're watching TV or listening to something else, um, that's why I, I mute. But you can anybody can unmute at this point. There's no I'm 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 done. I'm off the stage 